Here is how I made a mauler from Darktide. Thanks to everyone who voted on the recent poll. I'm going to be trying to recreate a mauler. Specifically, the mauler from this picture. Hopefully I can do it justice. Station Forge made this pretty easy on me with their newest corrupted guard kit, as one of them already has the right basic look. All I need to do is move the pose a little and do a simple head swap. I cut off the head with a boolean difference and a box. Then, I took this Cyber Zerker welding mask from the Maker's Cult and moved it into place. Next, I wanted to make the pose a little more hunched over. With the body selected, I went into sculpting mode and masked off areas I didn't want to be moved. Then, I used the pose tool and posed the model. I added some spikes around the model to match the ones I found in game. I turned on the snapping box to make this easier. Lastly, I brought in a Saint Decent helmet and clipped it into the head to better match the helmet in game. I used the Elastic Deform tool to push unwanted material into the helmet, as I am wont to do. Not too bad as far as the digital kit bash goes. I added some green stuff chainmail using a green stuff world chainmail texture plate. I'm not amazing with green stuff, but my biggest tip is to use oil to make sure your green stuff doesn't stick to anything. This makes it a lot easier to work with. Also, a little drop of super glue can really help the green stuff stick to your model if things are getting too wild. The chest armor spike thing was made with a little bit of cereal box cut out with a hobby knife. Now, time to paint. The first step is to base coat everything. If you've seen my other Dark Tide kit bashes, you know what's about to happen paint wise. One really good tip I heard early on in my hobby journey is to keep a little notebook for your painting recipes. I'm constantly referencing it because my memory is that of a goldfish. I kept checking in-game to make sure I wasn't missing any markings. After base coating, I applied an all-over oil wash using a 50-50 mix of black and burnt umber oil paints, mixed with a pipette of mineral spirits. Then I wiped away the excess with a clean brush. After that dried overnight, I highlighted everything. Basically everything was highlighted by taking the original base coat color mixed with either model color buff or white. The armor was highlighted with French Mirage Blue, to which I added more and more buff to lighten it.
Then I weathered the armor with pure buff by making little dots and scratches all over. His visor was then painted with a base of white, followed by orange, followed by orange mixed with white. All the spikes and metal were then highlighted with silver. I added rust with typhus corrosion, followed by rise of rust. I then added blood for the blood god to the chain axe. I never know how much blood to add to my minis, if any. I'd love to hear your opinions on this. I added him to his base, and he was done. I hope you like him. As always, if you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. Leave any feedback and suggestions in the comments below. Alright, bye bye